Okay, so for this problem, we're going to use V1C1 is equal to V2C2 as our way of figuring out our dilution. So the problem asks if we can make a 10 millimolar working solution from a 100 millimolar stock solution, and we'd like to make 10 mils. So let's just start off with what we know and fill in what we can in this solution, in this equation. So if we decide that the V1C1 is going to be our stock solution and our V2C2 is going to be our working solution, then it's a matter of plugging in what we need um, in each of these components. So we know that we have a we want a 10 mil solution, a working solution, and we know that it's uh, 10 millimolars, our final concentration for our working solution. We also know the concentration of our stock solution, which in this case is 100 millimolar. And what we don't know is the volume that we need to use in order of the stock solution in order to make our dilution. And so we make sure that the units that we have are unified. That's always our first step. And so we're going to have as uh, milliliters will be our units for our volume. So simply multiply this out and you get a hundred um, milliliters, millimole, these are sort of arbitrary units that will go away and we have a hundred millimolar on this side and of course millimolar drops out, a hundred drops out and what you're left with is that V, oops sorry, V1 is equal to one milliliter. So how do we use this? That means that we need one milliliter of our stock solution and then we're going to make 10 mils. So one mil stock plus nine mils water will equal 10 mils of a solution that's 10 millimolar.